I really wanted to take those IRL streams that we've been doing to the next level. I wanted to see new places, do cool things, meet interesting people. And I figured, who's more connected to those things than Red Bull? After talking to Red Bull and Twitch about the project, we all decided to come together and make it the best that it can be. That's why we're announcing Game Changers, our new IRL travel show. This month, Red Bull is putting on their Can You Make It event, so the timing couldn't have been better. What's up, guys? It's Raynad back here for day one of the Red Bull Can You Make It event here. I'm with Kata. Hi, I'm Kata. I actually live in Budapest, so I'm gonna show these guys around and uh, help them to be co-hosting. Um, so I'm really excited. Let's we'll yeah. see what happens. I wanted to bring my friend Kata along for the day to experience it all with me. Okay, so everybody in the event gets their own uh, cell phone, but it's like a custom cell phone that only has the Red Bull Can You Make It app on it. And you can only really use it for emergencies and you can use it for that app. Okay, so these passports are basically for the checkpoints that we stop at, right? Yeah. So, I mean, the, the finish line is at Amsterdam, but it's not really a race. People aren't just trying to get there as fast as possible. Uh, it's all about... Yeah, here we are. Yeah, yeah. So we got the Budapest stamp on it already. Yeah. Makes sense. We're not just trying to race to Amsterdam in the fastest time possible. What we're trying to do is basically get to... We're trying to get to Amsterdam, but we're trying to stop at a bunch of checkpoints along the way. It's all about getting points. And there's three ways you can get points. You can get it at these checkpoint stops where you do challenges and uh, you just do cool stuff. Uh, you can get a social ranking. So all the teams here are gonna be posting on Facebook and Twitter, I think mostly. Hundreds of students were gathered in the city to begin their journey across Europe using only Red Bull cans as currency. That's yeah. rule number one. You can't use money. You have to trade these wonderful special Red Bull cans and treasure every one of them. Would you like one? Uh, well, yeah, thanks. And actually, there's a um, special thing with this because uh, if you... Oh, I'll open it. Uh, <laughs> we met teams from Montenegro, Croatia, Brazil, America, all of who were about to start the journey of a lifetime. The teams grabbed their gear and their maps. And before we knew it, it was time to start. Everyone lined up under the starting gate and took off running. Why am I not running? I feel so, uh, I don't know. I don't want to make you chase after me, Simon. You know? Since we were a part of the event, we wanted to try a couple challenges for ourselves. It was way harder than it looked, and I was getting turned away left and right. Kata had way better luck. She spoke Hungarian, and within minutes was already racking up points. Before long, we were off to Bratislava, Slovakia to find our first checkpoint. We met up with one of the biggest streamers in the country, Donato, to show us around Bratislava. Yay! We explored a bit of the city together. We tried some local food, had some beers, talked about our favorite and least favorite things about streaming on Twitch. And eventually, we decided to make our way over to the checkpoint. Red Bull had set up this massive drone maze in the basement of a University of Architecture. We tried bringing our equipment down there, but since we're streaming all of it live, the connection wouldn't hold. Because it was in the basement, uh, we lost cell signal there, so we couldn't stay live while we were down there. But this is what the maze looked like. We can kind of focus in on that. Um, it's a bunch of games fly through and uh, little obstacles and it's a pretty big course. Um, right now what we're doing is just kind of messing around with drones. But um, so there were a lot of teams that came through and already accomplished this actually. They got here before we did. Uh, which is crazy because we had a car and they didn't. They had Red Bull cans. Props to them. But uh, if you guys remember Team Speedo from, uh, from yesterday, uh, <laughs> those guys came through here and uh, crushed the challenge apparently. I think 20 teams they said came through already. Which is crazy, 20 teams. We decided to grab a couple of the drones, bring them up to the lobby, and fly them around anyway. These were some of the smallest drones I've seen in my life, but they were a ton of fun to play with. 
They have a ton of maneuverability. You can do tricks with them. There's a mode where you can shoot invisible lasers at each other and have a battle. Honestly, it did not have kicked my ass, but it was a ton of fun to do and a great way to round out our trip to Bratislava. Instead of going straight to our second checkpoint, we decided to make a bit of a detour. We were so close to Hangar 7 and we couldn't miss it while we were here. One of the challenges was to get up in the air. We decided to go a little bit out of our way and do it big. We came all the way to Salzburg, Austria to see Hangar 7. Hangar 7 is where Red Bull keeps everything from cars to planes to spacecraft, all of which have a ton of history behind them, and a lot of which are still used today for air shows and races. While we were here, we ran into Jason, who's a famous professional free runner. It was cool to hang out with him for a bit and learn a little about his world. We were also lucky enough to meet Raymond, a head pilot for Red Bull. He was an expert in every type of aircraft they have here and gave us a walkthrough while explaining what it was exactly that we were looking at. He even showed us around Hangar 8, which is something that not a lot of people get to see. It had a lot of planes that you don't see on the main show floor, and we even got to go inside of one and explore it from the inside. The big moment finally came. Our helicopter landed and we were ready for takeoff. We met Christian, who was gonna be piloting us for our stream over Austria. The view was incredible. Simon was hanging out the open door of the helicopter, getting a ton of awesome footage. And we experienced all of that live with our chat. This was the experience of a lifetime. And I'm so thankful that Red Bull set all of this up for us. It was definitely one of the most unique streams I've ever done on Twitch. It was a hell of a day, but before long, it was time to make our way over to the second checkpoint in Heidelberg, Germany. While we were getting ready to go out and stream the day, thunder started crashing around us. The plan for the day was to head over to the checkpoint and stream from this ancient castle that it was inside of. When we got there, we were greeted by a castle guard who kindly escorted us to jail. After they blindfolded us, took us to the room, and even shackled us, the guard left. I took the blindfold off and realized that this was an escape room. We had to solve a bunch of challenges together to get out alive. The tough thing about this room is the fact that all three of us were completely separated. One of the first things I noticed is a pair of keys on the sidewall that was stuck inside of this vertical maze. My cellmate on the other side of the wall found a magnet. Using the magnet and some coordination, we managed to weave the key through the maze and pull it out. That key unlocked my shackles and I was free to go around the room in search of more clues to free my teammates. Okay. All right, cool. Okay. Later guys. Oh. Right. <laughs> nice try. Thanks, Lord. Um, okay, so using stuff we found around the room, like uh, mirrors, a pool cue, even a piano, we managed to free my cellmate that was in the box. The entire time we were doing this, I managed to miss a pair of keys hanging from a lamp right in the middle of the room. So our third cellmate was locked the entire time watching us do all these puzzles together. Even though there were a couple hiccups, we managed to pull together as a team and escape. After getting out, we met Jonathan, who offered to give us a tour of the building. It turns out this place isn't just a prop. It's an ancient fraternity building that's still in use today. That's really cool. What's it called, the, the fraternity? This fraternity is called Pertia. The Pets, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's uh, named after the founder of the University of Heidelberg. Oh, wow. The former king of this uh, area. Oh, and cool. It was called Ruprecht uh, the First. The students in the frat still live here today. They study here, socialize, throw parties in the Grand Hall, and even play a bit of beer pong. I decided to challenge them to a game live on stream. There's a lot of back and forth, but after a couple good shots in the end, we came out on top. We've seen and done so much in the past few days, but we're only halfway there. The final leg of Red Bull Can You Make It is about to begin, and it's all leading to Amsterdam.